What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to back up your old iPhone and restore it to the brand new iPhone 11. So whether you're upgrading from an iPhone 7, an iPhone SE, or even an iPhone 6S, the process is going to be the exact same on every single device. But in this example today, I'm gonna to be upgrading from last year's iPhone 10R to the new iPhone 11. So I'm gonna be transferring all of my data over from this phone to the 11. Now my old iPhone, the iPhone 10R, is currently on iOS 13 and the iPhone 11 does ship with iOS 13, so this will work. However, you do need to be on iOS 13 or lower on your older device to be able to successfully transfer over all of your data without any errors. Now, if you're on a higher version than iOS 13, like iOS 13.1, I will be showing you how to work around that as well here in a minute. So anyways, this video is going to show you how to transfer all of your data over to your new phone, and this is gonna allow you to retain all of your contacts, all of your text messages, all of your applications, your photos, everything. Thing. So let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and show you guys how to transfer the data over from your old phone to your brand new iPhone 11. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and take the old phone and you want to go into your settings, scroll all the way up until you see your Apple ID right there. Go ahead and tap on that. Then you want to go to iCloud. And if you get this pop up to agree to the new terms and conditions, of course, just go ahead and do that and agree. And then you'll be able to go into your iCloud settings right here. Then you just want to make sure that messages, for example, is toggled on. This is basically everything you want to be backed up via iCloud and transfer over to your new phone so messages and photos are probably the two most important so make sure that's toggled on go into photos make sure iCloud photos is toggled on and then set these settings right here now everybody has their own preference so you can go ahead and read through these and decide what you want to do I personally like to have optimized iPhone storage and I do like shared albums and I don't personally use the photo stream and then once you go back again make sure that everything is toggled on that you want to back up and transfer over then you want to go to iCloud backup and toggle that on if it's not toggled on and click OK and then click on backup now and it will start backing up your iPhone. Now the length of time that it takes to back up will vary. It depends on how much data you have on your iPhone and it also depends on your network speed. So if you have a slow network speed, it's gonna take longer than if you were to have a fast connection. I would also recommend you to be on Wi-Fi while you're doing this. And there we go, you can see mine did finish up right below backup now. It now says last successful backup was at 11.21 a.m., which was just one minute ago. So if you wanna make sure it is backed up, you could go into here, go to manage storage, and then go to backup and then go into your device right here and you will see all the data that's backed up and how much space it's taking up as well. And this is also the place to go if you wanted to delete your backup for whatever reason. All right, so now that we've backed up our old phone, we are ready to get on to the new phone. So once you have it on this screen right here, the hello screen, all you have to do is have your old phone unlocked Then you wanna swipe up on the new phone and you should see a pop-up on the old phone right here. And there it is, you will see a pop-up just like so. Once you see that, go ahead and click on continue. You don't need to press anything on the new phone at all and then you will have to scan this little code right here so just go ahead and take the old phone and scan the new phone's code right there and you'll see it says waiting for other iPhone then you will have to put in the passcode of the old iPhone there we go and now it will start setting up and taking all the data over from the previous phone to the new iPhone 11 and again the length of time this takes will vary depending on how much data you have to transfer over right, so now you get a setup screen for face ID you can either continue to do this now or set it up later in settings since I'm showing you guys the whole setup process I will show you how to do this now so all you're going to do is just position your face in the middle right there and move your head around so I'm just gonna do this right now and there we go we scanned our face two different times and now we have face ID set up on the iPhone 11 and now you will get this prompt right here transfer your data you can directly transfer your data during setup or finish downloading it later and this is actually a brand new option this was not here last year with last year's phones so this is something new from here you're gonna want to go to the first option where it says transfer from iPhone and you can see we are still using our old phone here it says finish on new phone but it says keep this phone near your new iPhone while your information is transferred. So you don't want to lock it or X out of anything on the old iPhone. You want to keep that B. You want to leave it B and just be using the new phone while it's close by. So you can see the terms and conditions here. We're just going to agree to that. And now is where you could just transfer over all of these settings from your previous phone or if you wanted to customize them even more, you could. But for most of you, you're probably just going to want to keep the same settings. So just go ahead and click on continue. And then you can either turn on or turn off automatic software updates. I personally like keeping this off. So I will do install updates manually. I would recommend you do as well. If you're subscribed to me here on YouTube, you will always know when a new software version is released on the 
the day so you don't need to have automatic updates installed and now you have apple pay i would definitely recommend setting up apple pay if you want to i'm personally just going to skip this and then we have siri right here so you could set up siri now or set it up later in settings you're gonna have to say the magic words so i'm just gonna go ahead and do that really quick all right so i guess i didn't have to say the magic what's up siri like i thought i would so anyways you have app analytics here you could either share that or not share that with app developers that could take a toll on battery life so i always do don't share and then you may get this prompt right here that says this iCloud backup includes purchases from the app store that were made on a different Apple ID and if it's an Apple ID that you know you should put in your passcode if not just skip this step and just delete those applications later on and re-download them on your Apple ID that you actually know the password to but in my case I know the password to that account that's just my other iTunes account so I'm going to enter in the passcode and now you can see it begins transferring data over from my old iPhone in this case it's my Brandon's iPhone 10R my iPhone 10R from last year and you can see here this is what the screen looks like on both devices you can see mine's going pretty quickly and I did also send a text message and take some photos as well just to prove that all of the data did transfer over without losing anything so you can see here I do have a fast connection and I also didn't have much to transfer over so it went pretty quick and you can see there it does say transfer complete and then we will reboot on the new iPhone 11 and if you read it there it says before you trade in give away or sell this iPhone you should completely erase it by going to settings and choosing erase all content and settings so that is a very good tip we're going to continue on the old phone and just so you know where that is if you go into settings general go all the way down to reset reset all content and settings is right there that's definitely what you should do if you are planning on selling this all right, so we are finishing up now on the new iPhone 11 you can see it just has to go through one last little process here to make sure everything is the same and what's cool is that we're going to actually have the exact same app layout we're going to retain the same background that we had on the old device all these applications will be installed we're going to have the text messages everything the call log your recent calls everything is going to transfer over and you can see already we do have the same wallpaper on the iPhone 11 now and if we go ahead and unlock it you can see it's starting to download the applications in the exact same order as they were on the old iPhone if we go over you can see there the exact same with the addition of some of the stock applications there and if we go into our text messages you can see we have the exact same text messages there just one text that I sent before I started this video and if we go into our photos you can see we have our photos the exact same on both devices ensuring that everything did in fact transfer over so like I mentioned earlier if your old device is currently on iOS 13.1 or just anything higher than iOS 13 which the iPhone 11 comes with you're just going to need to simply set up your iPhone 11 as a new device with absolutely no data on it and then you want to update to whatever version you're currently on on your old device or higher so in my case if I were to be on iOS 13.1 on this device I would need to update the iPhone 11 to iOS 13.1 and then I'll be able to transfer over the data or another way to do it is just to downgrade your old device to iOS 13 and then delete the old backup since it is on a higher version make a new backup and then transfer over to the new device and it will all work just like you saw in this video and if you do decide to update your new iPhone 11 instead of downgrading your old device you'll just need to go to settings general reset and then erase all content and settings and it will take you back to the setup screen and that's where you will see the transfer data menu that we saw earlier in this video so I know that can be a little bit confusing so if you have any questions at all let me know down in the comment section below and I will try to help you out but anyways guys there you have it that is how you transfer data over from your old device to your brand new iPhone 11 now obviously the iPhone 10r is not an old device but that's just what I was using as an example in this video so if this video helped you out I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up and also make sure you guys subscribe so you can see a lot more iPhone 11 iPhone 11 Pro and iPhone 11 Pro Max content also I'm very curious what device did you upgrade to the iPhone 11 from what was your old device that you transferred data over from I'm very curious because I saw a lot of people transferring over from the iPhone 10s when I was in line at the Apple store so I'm curious if you guys have an iPhone 10s or if you have an older device but anyways guys thanks again for watching the video and I'll see you soon